as a big fan, I have to ask this. Will this be your last MCU movie? Um, um. 토르가 돌아왔습니다. 마블 스튜디오의 신작 토르 러브 앤 썬더가 7월 6일 개봉을 앞두고 있는데요. 마블 시네마틱 유니버스 최초로 4편까지 나오게 된 토르 시리즈. I need to figure out exactly who I am. 이번 작품에선 진짜 자신을 찾기 위해 여행에 나서는 토르의 이야기를 보여줍니다. 그러나 마음대로 되는 일은 없죠. 새로운 빌런 신 도살자 고르가 토르를 위협하는데요. So 매력적인 악역 고르는 바로 Hello there. 배우 크리스찬 베일이 연기했습니다. 이번 여름 최고 기대작 중 하나인 토르 러브 앤 썬더. 스브스 뉴스가 이번엔 배우 크리스 엠스워스와 크리스찬 베일을 만나봤습니다. Nice to meet you. So regarding the fact that the first Thor movie was filmed like 12 years ago, how was it like to be coming back with the fourth movie? Any differences? It was really interesting because the last time we saw him, it was in Endgame and he was emotionally complex, complicated yes. uh, and had some work to do in, in rediscovering himself. And so we got to explore that journey and, and, and what had happened between Endgame and now and who Thor was going to be, you know, in, in, in this space. And I was really thankful for the script that Taika had written and uh, the opportunities he'd given all of us as cast and crew to, to try something uh, pretty special. 이번 영화엔 발키리, 가디언즈 오브 갤럭시 멤버들 같은 반가운 얼굴과 1, 2편에서 트로와 연인 사이로 등장했던 제인 포스터가 재등장하는데요. Oh, speak too soon. Jane? 갑자기 나타난 전 여친이 토르가 됐다면? What's it been like? Three, four years? Eight years, seven months and six days, give or take. You know, the first time I played Thor was opposite Natalie and uh... to meet up again 10, 11 years later and, and in this setting and now both our characters are in a de very different place was um, really, really interesting and fun and just the dynamic of, you know, Thor having these complications and asking questions about who he was and then all of a sudden someone else turning up dressed the same way as him made it very, <laughs> you know, complicated for him to process. We, we, we had a hell of a time. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Thor always showed a significant change in every movie that surprised the audience. He had this long hair and gets the short hair, had a new weapon, and suddenly gained a lot of weight. Is there any big change that will surprise the audience in this movie as well? A lot of changes, yeah. Um, none that I can talk about in great detail. Um, you know, part of Taika Waititi's strength as a filmmaker is unpredictable nature and, and style of storytelling. It's full of twists and turns and surprises and, and things that I think are going to please audiences from the past and fans that have loved the films and, and, and also bring in a whole lot more just because it's uh, again there's a unique quality to it. 새로 등장한 빌런 신 도살자 고르는 어떤 캐릭터일까요? 이번엔 직접 연기한 크리스찬 베일에게 물어봤습니다. Well, in honesty, the way that um, Taika works is you give him a lot of choices. We did some really silly stuff. We did a lot more creepy stuff than is in the film. We did some much scarier stuff um, as well. And a lot of things, uh, just it's the nature of film, it ends up on the cutting room floor, but you give the director choice so that then he can kind of carve it out. But obviously he's a, he's a man driven insane. Gore, not Taika. Gore is a character driven insane by a loss of, uh, by a loss of love. 다크나이트 시리즈로 유명한 크리스찬 베일. 그러다 보니 토르 출연 소식이 들려왔을 때 놀라는 사람도 많았는데요. What was the big point that brought you to this new film? Did you like the script or the character or anything? I liked um, Taika, the director, all of the above. I liked all of it. I'm always surprised when I hear things like a lot of people didn't expect me to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do, so I don't know why anyone else assumes they know what I'm going to do. So I wasn't surprised by it. If there's an interesting director and an interesting script, then I'm going to be interested. I guess it's because you are Batman, so... so oh, first, so, yeah. so Batman shouldn't mix with the... Is that the thing? I think they, they thought like that. So. Am I a traitor? <laughs> no, no, no. Am I treacherous to DC? No, not, not that kind, so... I don't mind if I am. To Korean movie fans, you are well known for your tremendous acting skills, but also famous for putting significant efforts to change your body shape by movie as well. So, can you share us any extra effort you gave to change your body for this film? Um, in the trailer, I could see you got rid of your hair. Uh, yeah, yeah, that felt good. It feels nice uh, shaving your head, but then they also made me shave my armpits and the chest and everything. Obviously, you know, lots of prosthetics applied by very, very brilliant uh, makeup artists. 
And that really helped me kind of know who I was playing, think about it and talk about it. But then it wasn't until I was sitting staring and we were still adjusting a little bit, a gorge look that you finally go, ah, there we go. On something like this, I share, you know, playing the character with the makeup artists. Uh, absolutely just as important as anything that I'm doing. 마지막으로 크리스 햄스워스 배우에게 제일 중요한 걸 물어봤습니다. As a big fan, I have to ask this. Will this be your last MCU movie? Um, at the moment it is, yeah. Again, I have loved every time I've played the character and each time I finished, I thought, okay, that was it. That, that That's kind of all I have to say for the character and not sure what else I do. And then I've had a wonderful director or a writer or producer come to me with, you know, a new take on it. And um, it's all about keeping it fresh for me and doing something that is of interest for myself and, and, and the audience and, and not repeating what I've done before. So who knows is, is the short answer. Um, but at this point, this is, this is it, yeah. 어쩌면 마지막이 될지도 모르는 토르의 이야기. 이번 영화가 마블 팬들에게 큰 선물이 됐으면 좋겠습니다. Thank you very much uh, for being a part of the Marvel universe and 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 following these films for many years now and for all your support and enthusiasm. Uh, I love you all. Thank you very much and please check out Thor Love and Thunder. Um, you're going to really enjoy it. So thank you again. <목소리> 이번 영상을 만든 PD가 추천하는 영상도 보고 가세요. 스브스 뉴스의 다른 영상을 즐기시려면 구독 버튼을 꼭 눌러주세요.